is Gina. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little pair of daisy earrings. Now, when I was making this video, towards the end I noticed that I put two completely different air wires on. I fixed that. So if you notice that, laugh at me. <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't even notice it until I took pictures. But anyway, um, this is what we're going to make today. And it matches the previous tutorial of this bracelet. So this is the Daisy bracelet tutorial. These are the earrings. And I have also made a necklace that will match. And that tutorial is coming shortly. I haven't got it ready yet, but it's coming. And this is what... Well, let me just show you. This is what the necklace will look like. I'm using the butterfly pendant that was in the treasure bag. However, none of the rest of it was in the treasure bag. But I do have a bunch of these on the website. I'm, I'm listing them right now. So um, you will be able to make the matching set, or you can just put whatever pendant you want. But I just wanted you to know we're going to make the earrings today, but there are matching pieces for this entire set. So if you stick around, you will see the tutorial for the uh, necklace real soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and look and see what it takes to make the earrings today. For this tutorial today, we will be using some 6mm round glass pearls. This is a butter glass pearl. And I am also going to be using some 4mm round glass crystals. So. I'm just using this color mix, it's pink mix, and it's just a bunch of different colors. So you can use a solid, just one color, you can use two colors, make your own mix, whatever you'd like to do, and we'll be using some of those. And then, and I also have both of these in my store if you would like some. Then we're going to be using some Toho 11 O's, and this is a galvanized permanent finish starlight. Then we will be using two wire guardians, and these are just little wire guardians, small ones, size one, and that's what those look like. We'll be using two of those. You don't necessarily have to. You can sew this onto your ear wire, but I'm going to use some wire guardians. And then two ear wires, some six pound fire line, and a size 12 or 10 beading needle. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, to start this project, you'll want to put onto your needle about an arm's length of thread. So measure from your fingertips to your shoulder, maybe to your collarbone, and that should be enough thread. Then we are going to pick up a six millimeter round pearl onto our needle and bring it to the end. You don't have to leave a long tail, just enough to hold onto like this. And then you're going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead and three crystals. And I'm just using random colors of crystals on mine since I have a mix. You can use, like I said, a solid or whatever you'd like. So I've got three crystals, then I'm going to pick up another 11 0. So 11 0, three crystals, 11 0, and then you're going to go into the tail side. So the opposite side from which you're coming out of the pearl. Hold on to it, hold on to your tail, and pull these down just like this. And then you're going to sew back through all of these. So hold on to the pearl and go into the 11 0 and the first four millimeter round, hold on to it all, and then go through the next couple crystals and into the 11 0 and back into the pearl, just like this. Hold on to your tail, then pull your tail and your working thread so that you tighten it up and it looks really nice like this. Then we are going to do the same thing on the other side of the pearl. So we're going to pick up an 11 0 and then three crystals. If I can get them to get on my needle, they're being stubborn. Come here. And an 11 0. So this is what you should have. And then you're going to go into the opposite side of the pearl again. So again into the tail side and you're going to pull these through just like this. Now you're going to go ahead and sew back through these crystals and 11 O's. So start with the 11 O, go through and just continue all the way around. Pick 
pick up the 11 0 go through it and go back through the pearl just like this now you are coming out just at the pearl so you need to go into one of these 11 0's then you need to pick up two 11 0's and we're going to go into the 11 -0 next to the one we're coming out of on the opposite side so you're coming out over here you're going to go into this one and go into the one you're coming out of just like this pull that down tight and then go into your new set so you're coming out of your previous set go into your new set of two 11 0's hold on to it pull your thread through and then go down through your previous set both of them now they may get a little tipped, so it takes a little bit of mani manipulation, can't say it, to get through them, but you can get through them or you can go one at a time. Just go through both of them and come up through the top set again. Now we're going to put on a wire guardian. So just pick up your wire guardian and you're going to go through one side of the wire guardian. So just go through the little tube on the bottom here like this. Bring it down and center it over your two beads just like this and then go into the opposite side of the wire guardian. Just bring your needle in front of your piece and pull your thread through until you can feel it. Guide it through your thumb and your finger as you're holding on to it and it pops into the top divot on the wire guardian. Then you're going to go through both of the 11 O's on that side. And this, as you draw your thread through, will bring your wire guardian up into position just like this. Now we are again going to sew up through this wire guardian. So we're coming out of this side, so we'll go up into the tube on this side again. Just like this. And pull the thread through, go into the opposite side of the tube, hold your thumb and finger together, that way you can feel your thread draw into the wire guardian, and then go into the 11 O's again. Now we're going to go down into the bottom set of 11 O's, so we're coming out of this set, we're going to go down into these two. And like I said, the second one is always at an angle, so you just kind of have to finagle your way through and pull this through. And then go into the three crystals on this side. Move that little tail out of the way. And go into the crystal here. We're going to sew all the way around because we want this to have a little bit of structure. So we're going to go from this 4 millimeter into both of the 11 O's and into the 4 millimeter on the other side. Then we're going to go up into both of the crystals on this side here and then into the two 11 O's, the bottom ones, closest to the pearl and the 4 millimeter on the other side. pull through and then we're going to sew down to these two 11 O's also. So just go through these two crystals first and then we're going to cut this tail off just to get it out of our way. It should be secure enough now to where we can get rid of it. So I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to get as close as I can. Those scissors don't work so let me get really close and cut that down just like that. This is what you have now, and we're going to go into the two 11 O's. So I'm coming out of this crystal right here. I'm going to go just into the two 11 O seed beads here. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull my thread through, and then I'm going to pick up two more 11 O seed beads. And I'm going to go into the opposite side of the set I'm coming out of. So we're just going to go into these two, just like this, and pull our new set down. Now we need to sew around that again to make it secure so we'll go into the new set 
hold on to it and pull your thread through tight and then go into the previous set. And again, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get through. So if you have to, just go through one, 111-0, then go through the other. And you're through both, just like that. Go down into the new set of 11 O's. Pick up another set of 11 O's, pick up two, and let's go into the opposite side from which we're coming out of these two. And again, let's secure this. So go up into these two 11 O's, and if they pull out, that's okay, because as you pull through and sew through again, they'll go back into place. So now we're going to go into the previous set here. And then back into this set. But this time, we're just going to go through one of the beads, just like this. We're going to exit between the two, and we're going to pick up a six millimeter round pearl. Pick up a pearl. <laughs> I'm having problems picking up my beads today. Pick up a pearl, pick up an 11 0, and then pick up three of your crystals. Just like this. So you just have one 11 0 this time, and it's right next to the pearl. Drop it down, and then you're going to come up through the 11 -0 you are coming out of. So from the opposite side, you're going to come into this 11 -0 and pull these down. Sorry, that was really clumsy. We're just going to draw it all down like this. Then you're going to go up through the pearl right here. Now we have half of our flower. Let's pull it tight, make it nice and neat, make sure there's no gap between the 11 O's and the pearl, and then go up through the 11 O and all three of the crystals on this side here. Go back into the 11 O you attached to, and then back down into the pearl, and just the pearl. Ignore the 11 0 on the other side. Then you're going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead and three of your crystals. Let's see what colors do I want? And so, like this again, just one 11 0, and then you're going to go into the 11 0 from the outside towards the pearl. and pull these down, just like this. Now we're going to go into the pearl. And we're just going to exit the pearl. Don't go into those 11 O's. Just exit and pull it down. Let's sew through this side one more time, just to make sure it's nice and neat. So go up through the 11 O, and all three of the crystals. Go into the two 11 O's on top here. So we're going to go through both of them, and I'm going to go through the crystal on the other side here. Pull through, and then go through the two crystals here. And now we're going to go into both of these 11 O's. We're going to sew around one more time, just because this is an earring, it needs structure. So we're going to go all the way around again. So we're going to go through all of these beads. And we're going to go through the two on top here. I can get through both of them and that crystal on the other side. 
pull through and then back through these two and then we're going to pick up three 11 of seed beads just like this and we are going to actually I'm sorry we're going to go through both of the two on the bottom here I'm being goofy go through both of the 11 O's and then pick up three 11 O's and then you're going to go back into both of the beads again from the other side so you're coming out of this side go into this side with three 11 O's on your needle and pull these down and that just makes a cute little bottom then go into these crystals on this side you're coming out of the side so just go up into the crystals and then on the thread right between the crystals go underneath create a loop and then pull a knot down on that little thread bridge and then you're going to come back through all the crystals and 11 O's on top here and that can get a little tight. I actually have a bigger than a size 12 beading needle. I switched um, before the video, so my needle is a little big. So I've come through both of those, and then I'm going to tie a knot on this side. So if you have a size 12, you won't have any issue passing through. Then we're going to just sew through a couple more here. Go through these 11 O's on the bottom. Actually, that straightens that out too much. So I'm not going to go through those like that. I am going to, I'm designing, sorry guys. I'm going to go into these two 11 O's and then I am going to go through these three. Just to give it another pass of thread and to um, make it nice and cute and so they don't move around and I lost my needle so let me put this back on I'll be right back okay so then I'm just going to go back into these three after coming out of the two 11 O's and this will make this more of a little pico shape it'll be cuter and then I can go back into these two 11 O's And you don't have to do this much sewing. You can just tie it off, at, or after you tie off, you can just cut off your thread if you'd like. I already tied a knot a couple of times. I think I'll tie one more just to keep those last beads that I secured tight right between those two beads. And then I'm just going to go up into this one and this one, and I'll cut my thread off. So I will just get as close as I can and cut that off. And then I'll grab an ear wire. And I'm just going to open the loop on the ear wire. See if I can find where it opens. Just like that, just by lifting it and twisting it out. And then I'm going to drop my wire guardian onto that ear wire and close it. And there's my earring. Let me make another. I'll come back and show you the set and we'll call it good. There you have it. A cute little set of daisy earrings. And they're really very simple. This stitch I used in my previous tutorial of daisy bracelet. So if you feel that I went through this too fast or you want to learn the stitch better or you want to make a matching bracelet, check that video out and that will help you make these also. So anyway, that's what those look like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.